it's me and I am, well, I'm in a lot of pain right now. <laughs> I wanted to make this video um, later when I had my good camera back, but I don't think that's going to happen or I'm worried that that might not happen because I am having contractions on and off. They're getting pretty intense. Um, I'm not saying that I'm in labor, so don't get excited. I might not be. I probably am not. But, you know, it's just impending and I feel like I need to get this done now. So, Crystal, <laughs> the loving friend that she is, suggested to take my mind off of all of this uh, to do my hospital bag, which I realize I really need to do before I go to the hospital. So, this might not be the greatest, but I think this is the only chance that I might get. If not, then I will re-record it with my better camera and better lighting and all that because it's like 9 30 10 o'clock at night right now yeah we're just we're yeah my husband is downstairs cleaning and doing taking care of the list that I made for him that we need to get done before we go to the hospital just in case I go into labor tonight so anyways all right so I, let's get started um I'm gonna start off with all my toiletries but I don't want you guys to get very excited because it's nothing fancy like I'm not taking anything fancy after deliveries in a hospital I realize that I have a tendency to overpack and there's nothing like coming home and having to unpack a bunch of stuff like it just stinks so you know with my son's delivery I packed way less than I did with my daughter's and then this time I'm packing even less than that because I know now what I don't need and what I do need um, I will say that what I pack can be different than what you pack because a everyone's different B everyone has different comforts that they need or want around them and that's perfectly fine this is just me showing you what I'm bringing. Please don't base what you bring off of that. Um, also, hospitals are different. Um, they have different policies. They provide different things. So keep that in mind, please. But to start off, I'll start with the toiletries. I had somebody ask me if I was going to have a lot of makeup with me. This is as much makeup as I'm bringing. It's in a Ziploc bag just so I can see it um, when it's on my dresser waiting for me. Uh, it's literally, it looks like a lot of makeup, but it's really not. It's just a few, my brushes, and it's just natural stuff like blush, uh, bronzer, and a highlighter, stuff like that, and then mascara, which I doubt I'll even use any of this. It's just in case, depending on how long I'm there, how I'm feeling, you know, just to have it there. So I've been leaving this and my facial moisturizer on my dresser, um, and then I can just grab it, use it, which I haven't worn makeup in like a week because I've been so lazy, so... But yeah, this is there just in case. I didn't wear makeup with my son or my daughter's delivery, so I probably won't again. But who knows? It might be different this time. So there's that. My makeup bag that's ready to go. I'm bringing my Method Balls because I love them and they'll help with my back pain. You can, My husband can also use them to rub them in my back afterwards. I'm bringing a big comb because I don't... I don't know, to brush my hair in case it gets ratty, which I don't know if I'll take a shower. Well, I'll probably take a shower. I'm also bringing Purell, which... I went and I went I went to Meyer and I bought a bunch of their travel size toiletries. There's a reason I did that because A, I wanted to have everything just like in my bag. I didn't want to have to think about anything in case, you know, I go into labor and I'm home by myself during the day with my son. I just wanted to be able to grab everything or have everything in the car instead of having to be like Oh, well, I need my toothpaste and my toothbrush still, or I need my hair wash, you know, up until that point. So what I did was I bought a bunch of travel size items. So I have Purell, because these are only like a dollar or two dollars at the most at Meyer, which is really nice. And if I don't use them, they're travel size, I can use them later. It's not like they're going to go bad. So all of my travel size stuff is in here. The first thing I got was Purell um, in case my kids, when they come... I mean, I know hospitals probably have them, but just in case, my kids can put it on their hands before they hold the baby. And then inside here, I have some Simple Sensitive Skin Experts. I've actually never used these. This is the only travel size I could find in these, though. These are facial wash wipes, you know, instead of having, because I don't know how I'm going to feel if I can get out of bed and wash my face or if I'll even want to. So this is just in case if I need to remove any type of makeup or if I sweat a bunch or if I just feel gross, I can refresh my face with just this travel size um, cleansing facial wipe. So I got those instead of face wash. Some Nivea cream. It's just like a lotion, whatever, because my skin's been getting really, really dry. This is a dollar as well. Um, Q-tips because it's the weirdest thing, but you never know when you need Q-tips. Again, only like a dollar. I actually think I think these were two for a dollar, but a dollar. Um, a mini Dove 
uh, powder or invisible shield deodorant because I sweat last time and I, yeah, deodorant. <laughs> I have my Dove Intensive Repair conditioner, shampoo, and then also body wash all in mini size. I used to use Dove a lot before I got pregnant before my hair started getting really dry and my coconut stuff does not come in travel size so I just implemented these instead. I have a travel size toothpaste of course and then a travel size, two travel size mouthwashes, one for my husband, one for myself because I do not want his stinky breath in my face when I am in labor. I also am bringing gum but that's in the car. I have two travel size toothbrushes that I click in. These are really cheap. They're like a dollar. Uh, again, this is so that we don't have to be like, oh, did we forget our toothbrushes? Or, oh, we need to make sure to grab our toothbrushes before we leave. They're just in here. Again, we can use these if we, I don't know. Yeah, but so I got one for me and one for my husband because he never remembers to bring that kind of stuff. And then this is the silly thing. I got disposable razors. And I only did this just in case, like, I have this miraculous, like, burst of energy and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can see my legs again. I'm going to shave them, you know. Probably won't happen, but they were like 50 cents, so I just got them. So, that's all the toiletries I brought, or I bought for the trip, and that's all that I'm going to bring again. I might not use all of them, and if I don't, then it's just like I can use them for another trip, and if I do, then I'll be glad that I had them. Uh, they were really cheap. I think everything all together was like $16, $17, and for a peace of mind, that's good enough for me. So that's all in here and ready to go. Uh, I also have hair bands. This is... <laughs> They're stuck together with this thing. These are actually neat. These are by MEJ. You've probably seen me wear these throughout the summer in some of my videos. I really, really like these. They're very, very like, I don't know how to explain them, but they're by MEJ, E-M-I, heart, J-A-Y. They sent me these to review along with their hair bands. These are wristlet hair bands. And they're just fancy. They're like cute. They can wear them as like bracelets. And then they also, excuse me. They also go in your hair. Oh my gosh, contraction. They also go in your hair as hair ties. So as you can see, it says MEJ on them. They're really, really cute. I picked these. They're like a sheer neutral color. They also sent me this black headband to wear during labor to keep my flyaways out of my face and to look pretty at the same time. And then this beige one I actually bought during the summer myself because I really, really like them and I just wanted something more neutral. So you've probably seen them in my videos, but. I really, really like these. They're very fancy. Um, they're going to make me feel a little bit fancier during delivery. This company was actually started by two teenage girls, and they also donate a lot of money to, I think, Locks of Love or one of those types of companies. So check them out. They're a great company. Um, I'll leave them on my website as well, but I love them. So I just have hair bands just in case, you know, you can never have too many. I have such thick hair that I break them like every five seconds. <laughs> So yeah, so I have hair bands because my hair is probably going to be up the whole time that I'm in labor. The next thing I brought is lanolin. I'm going to bring my lanolin. I did a review on this. I love Lansano lanolin. I'm bringing this for my nipples, obviously, because I'll be breastfeeding. My preggy pop drops, I'm bringing those. I'm also bringing dolphin nail clippers. These are by Japanesque. I did a review on these. I love these. They're very, very sharp. They're very, very cool. I'm bringing these purely because my kids come out with the longest nails. My kids come out with the longest nails, so I am going to cut them. Um, I'm just assuming she's going to have long nails because both my other kids did. But in case she's one of those kids who doesn't want to keep mittens on, I will be cutting her nails, just in case. And then this right here is actually by Milk Bands. They sent me this to um, review, and I like the idea of it. I'm not, I won't really know for sure, for sure how effective it is when I, until I'm nursing. But what it is, it's a band that you can wear around your arm and you, it reminds you what side that you last breastfed on. It has a left and a right. So say I have last breastfed on my left side, I'd flip it over then to know that the next side that I need to go on would be my right side and vice versa. And then not only that, but it also has these little dials right here so you can move them around to tell you when the last time you nursed was to, or to tell you how long you nursed for on each side. So I really like this. I'm bringing it along because I remembered last time I just was so tired I couldn't remember which one that I left off on. And I got infections a lot in my right breast because I think I overfed or didn't feed enough on one. So I'm going to try this out and I'll tell you guys how it goes. But this one of these will be in, one of, in my giveaway for the month. But I think it's a cute idea. I like that. But yeah, so that's all of my like 
accessory type things that are going with me. And my water bottle, of course. I'm bringing my Eco Vessel water bottle because I love it and because, well, I need to stay hydrated. So that is coming along with me as well. All right, so moving on to what I packed in my actual bag. This is, I'm going to mess everything up and watch. I'm going to go into labor and then I'm going to pack everything up. Whoops, probably not. Okay, so in this bag, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff. So last time I overpacked clothes, I definitely, definitely, definitely overthought it way too much. I just, I don't know what my problem was. The time before that, it was even worse. So this time around, I'm just doing basics. I don't care if I match. I don't care if I look cute. I want to be comfortable. So what I am doing is I am bringing, of course, my postpartum undies. Also, my Pretty Pushers dress. For, so my postpartum undies and my Pretty Pushers dress to deliver and labor in, hopefully. Well, I know I will because my doctor said I could already. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to bring these and then... <sighs> Sorry, I'm so out of breath. After I have the baby, hopefully after I have the baby, I have a few different outfits to choose from. I have some lightweight, old navy, just really comfy, loose-fitting pajama pants. And then I also have some flannel pajama pants that are just baggy but they're long. Um, I have, or fleece, sorry. So I have two pairs of pajama pants in terms of like recovering afterwards because there's something about after having yourself so exposed that you kind of want to cover up afterwards. So I actually took these same exact pajama pants to Wyatt's birth two years ago and I just, I love them. But because it is going to be fall and hospitals are freezing cold because, you know, they don't want to have a warm hospital because germs, you know, breed and all that. That's why they keep it cold in there. Um, but... Since it is going to be super cold, it's going to be fall, I'm bringing a fleece option as well. So I have that. Those are going to be my pajamas that I um, recover in. And then I also brought some old underwears from Victoria's Secret, like full bottom ones, just in case the postpartum ones get dirty or if I'm there longer. So I have those as well. I also have a shirt. It's just a nice little thermal pajama shirt that will go with one of my pajama pants and then I'm going to have a nursing tank to go underneath that because I just, I don't know, again, I don't want to be overly exposed, I want to be cozy, I want to be comfy, so this way I will be covered but at the same time easily accessible to nurse baby after she comes. On top, so that will be my recovery outfit. Um, not only that, but I do, in case I don't want to keep pulling up my shirt or depending on how long I'm there, I'm bringing a fleece zip up just because it's warm and cozy and again I can just put over my nursing tank and just real quick unzip and then feed her. Sorry, this is like a horrible hospital bag like thing. Um, and then next I have just some incidentals, some just in cases. I just dropped a pair of socks. <laughs> um, these are my yoga pants to come home in. I have my shirt that I want to come home in which is just a stretchy long sleeve shirt. And then I'm bringing three different nursing tank tops just in case I don't know how long I will be there. Again, I don't know what will get on my nursing tank tops or if my baby's going to be a spitter like the other ones. So just in case I brought three different nursing tank tops, I will go home with one of them underneath that long sleeve shirt because again, it's winter or not winter, but it's fall. And then I have just a backup long sleeve shirt in case that one gets dirty or I end up staying an extra day. Um, on top of those things, I am also bringing three types of socks. Now you can call me paranoid, but my feet get so cold in the hospital because it's so freezing and the blankets are like ridiculously thin that I just want cozy socks, especially when I'm walking on the hard concrete floor. So I'm bringing three types of socks. I'm bringing just regular athletic running socks that are really thin to go home in with my tennis shoes. I'm bringing these socks, which these are made out of, I think, llama wool. My mom gets us llama socks. They're so comfy and so soft and warm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I love them. But these are made of llama wool, so I'm bringing these as well. And I'm also bringing these, like, cute little fuzzy socks, too, just in case. If, like, these are my crappy ones. These are my nice expensive ones. These are my crappy ones for when I'm, like, pushing and there's blood everywhere. So... There's that. Three types of socks. I know I'm so ridiculous right now. And then I'm bringing my robe, my big fuzzy robe. That's for obvious reasons. So when I'm wearing my Pretty Pushers gown, if I get cold, I can put this on. I'm not too concerned about getting it dirty because I figure I'll take it off before I start pushing. I'm already overheating having all these contractions, so I don't think that would be an issue. I also took that same exact robe to the hospital when I delivered Wyatt. And then moving on, I have the baby's clothes. I am so sorry this is so long. I have three different, this is another thing, is 
I brought way too many outfits for Wyatt when he was born, and same with Ava. And it was, I think, because I just thought, oh, I'd be changing her clothes all the time. As a newborn and with that new little nubby thing, you really don't want to be messing with them that often. So changing their outfits like every five seconds, even if they spit up on them, is ridiculous. You don't do it. Like, it's just not worth it. So I am bringing three outfits. Uh, and they're basically just because to, I don't know, keep my mind at ease. But I'm bringing three different um, short sleeve onesies to go underneath these outfits because I don't know how cold it will be. I'm bringing one footy pajama. I'm bringing one regular pajama, which she might come home in this. I really like this. It's, you know, whatever. And who knows if she'll even fit into these. Who knows how big she'll be. Um, and then I think this might be her, one of her coming home outfit options. She has two, obviously. And this is like a dress thing from Zutano with a hat. Um, so she has three different outfit, outfits and three different onesies underneath. Again, the hospital provides you with, you know, an outfit to begin with. So it's just like, yeah, I don't know if I'll even use them. I'm bringing a whole pack of socks just because I don't feel like taking these off because I don't know if I'll even use them in the hospital again. I'm bringing lots of booties because I love booties. I'm obsessed with booties. I love them. These are for her coming home outfit with um, the butterfly one piece. And then I brought these two pairs of booties because they're just so cute. I got these from Frances. She made these for me and sent them to me months ago. And I love them and I want her to wear them. So these, I'm bringing these just in case. And then I'm bringing barrettes just because it's funny because I think she has a lot of hair so it'll be really funny to put these in her hair. Um, and then two blankets. One swaddle blanket and then one just like a little bit heavier, thicker one just in case. And that's it. I really want to get like a fuzzy, fuzzy, fleecy, fuzzy, warm, soft like plush blanket for her. But I don't know if there will be enough times. For right now, that's all we have. Um, I'm also going to bring... Um, I'm also going to bring probably like a heavier jacket for her as well, just in case, because this weekend is supposed to be pretty cold. Like, who knows when I'll go into labor. But that is it for my hospital bags. That is, you know, I'm trying to not bring a whole bunch of stuff because I don't want to have a whole bunch of stuff to clean or unpack when I get back because that's just, just stressful. Um, and I really honestly just don't want to take that much stuff because I don't need anything. The hospital provides a lot. Some other things that we are bringing... We stopped by the ATM on the way home and we took out $80 in cash. Sorry. Which I know seems excessive, but the cash machines at our hospital, like they really just like gouge you with their ATM fees. So we are trying to avoid that. So we're going to keep cash on hand because, again, we don't know how long we'll be there. My husband will be there and they offer me really good food all the time. Like there's like a nice little, like they're really good about their food at my hospital for the moms. But the men aren't supposed to touch any of it. So he'll have to go to cafeteria, so we're just bringing cash for that. Also, um, there's a Starbucks, <laughs> and I love Starbucks, so that is another reason why we stopped for cash. So we have emergency cash. I'm also going to bring all of my uh, electronical stuff, my iPhones, my chargers, computers, headphones, stuff like that, but we're not packing those until it's time to go. I'm not bringing any pacifiers to the baby, if you're wondering, because A, I haven't sterilized them, because I don't know if she'll use them, and B, because I don't want to do nipple confusion. I'm not going to introduce a pacifier for like three or four days after she's born. So, there is that. Also, I think, I think that's pretty much it. Like, I think we are, we are not really, I don't know, the car seat, John's installing that right now in the van, and other than that, like, we just have to remember our kids and where they're going while we're at the hospital, so... We're, pretty, we're ready. Like, it's really exciting. I have to repack this, obviously, which won't be that big of a deal. But that is what we are bringing next. Oh, I am bringing my big, big fleecy blanket that I showed you in my last video. I don't know if you can see me. It's behind me. It's like a really big, big, big cozy blanket because I like having my own blanket on top of me because it's warm and cozy compared to the hospital sheets that are, like, starchy and icky. And then I am bringing my own pillow. Not my snoogle because that's too big, but my own pillow and my blankie that I sleep with. So uh, those will be my personal effects that I bring. I'm not bringing slippers because you can't, my slippers that I have, I can't throw in the wash so I don't want them to get dirty. Whereas my socks I can just throw in the wash easily. And I think that's pretty much it in terms of comfort. We're not bringing snacks because there's really good affordable snacks at the hospital. Again, they really are good about taking care of the mom when it comes to being hungry or thirsty or any of that, so that's good. And I think that's it. Like, I don't... 
can't really think of anything else to tell you guys. Like, I think that's pretty much all I am packing. I, there are a lot of great suggestions on my Facebook fan page of things that people forgot or wish they would have done, which I really appreciated you guys' comments on that. I thought about bringing a heating pad because I think it was Kishi uh, suggested that, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'd use it. And again, I just don't want to overpack. So... I'm not going to bring my own birthing ball because they have a birthing ball too. My method balls should do the trick anyways. But yeah, I'm just trying not to overpack. I'm just trying to do the bare minimum. And if I need to send my husband home, I can or my mom or my dad. So anyways, that is my bag. So I'm sorry this is so stinking long. I'll try to edit it down. I hope this is helpful to you guys. Again, just because I pack something does not mean you need to pack the same things. And I will definitely keep you guys updated and pictures and stuff like that. If you're friends with me on Facebook or you follow my fan page or on Twitter or Instagram, you'll know updates there. But we are having a baby soon, so it's, it's, really, it's really exciting. So I'll talk to you guys all later.